In this video, the roots of the equation 8z squared plus 3z plus 10 equals 0 are alpha and beta. Find a quadratic equation with integer coefficients with roots alpha cubed and beta cubed. OK, so the coefficient of z squared is 8, so we have to divide through by 8. So z squared plus 3 eighths z plus 10 over 8 is 5 quarters, so plus 5 quarters equals 0. So the sum of my roots is minus 3 eighths, and the product is 5 quarters. Now, the new sum that I need is alpha cubed plus beta cubed. Now, in much the same way as we looked at in the previous video, in order to get alpha squared plus beta squared, I needed to look at alpha plus beta all squared. So to get alpha cubed plus beta cubed, I need to look at alpha plus beta all cubed. OK. Now, what is alpha plus beta all cubed? So just as a little aside. OK. So expanding that out, you're going to get alpha cubed plus 3 alpha squared beta plus 3 alpha beta squared plus alpha, uh, sorry, not alpha, plus beta cubed. OK, so there's a bit of binomial expansion there. Now, if you haven't met binomial expansion, that's fine. You can expand the brackets out long-handed as well. That's fine. So I've got the alpha cubed and the beta cubed, but I've got these extra terms that I don't want. So I need to subtract 3 alpha squared beta and 3 alpha beta squared. OK, so I don't want those. Now, we've got the alpha plus beta cubed. Now, with these, uh, it'd be useful if I could factorise this. So I've got take away 3 alpha beta times by, I've got the extra alpha there and the extra beta there. So it's 3 alpha beta times alpha plus beta. So alpha plus beta is minus 3 eighths. So we've got minus 3 eighths cubed. Take away 3 lots of alpha beta, so 5 quarters, times by alpha plus beta minus 3 eighths. OK, so minus 3 eighths cubed take away 3 times 5 quarters times minus 3 eighths and we get 693 over 512. Lovely. Right, OK. Then the product is alpha cubed times beta cubed which is alpha beta all cubed. So alpha beta is 5 quarters, so 5 quarters cubed. So 5 quarters cubed, 125 over 64. OK, so my new quadratic equation will be z squared, take away the sum. So take away 693 over 512 z plus the product, so plus 125 over 64 equals 0. OK, now I need integer coefficients, right? So I've got to multiply through by 512. So 512 z squared, take away 693 z, and then we've got 125 over 64 times by 512, and that's 1,000, so plus 1,000 equals 0. And so this is the quadratic equation that has roots alpha cubed and beta cubed.